I'm Kristen for Guns.com, and this is the new Henry Magnum Express, a 22 Magnum lever action built for use with a rifle scope. Ooh, I love lever actions. Here's the Henry Magnum Express. We'll take a closer look at this from the muzzle, and what you should see right away on first look is that there are no iron sights on this, which is not true of many Henry rifles, which tells us right from the go that this is built for using an optic. We'll follow that back, the 19 and a quarter inch round barrel, back to the alloy receiver, which is topped with the Picatinny reel, which Henry includes with the rifle. It's mounted and it's ready to go. All you need to do is choose your favorite optic, get some rings, mount it up, and you're paired right away with this high Monte Carlo style stock, which is exaggerated from what Henry uses on most of their rimfire lever actions. This is to get that cheek up when you shoulder that, you're right in line with the optic. So you're not having to kind of peekaboo to get in line with the scope. This is built for bullseyes and it's built for small game. We talk a lot about the design and the lines of the stock, but what we have here, which we have with pretty much every rifle and shotgun that Henry produces, is fine American walnut. Every piece on this rifle is American made of American materials. And you'll see here that American walnut, a fairly plain grain, but pretty attractive. It's checkered here at the pistol grip, checkered here at the forend. We've got that forward barrel band, and like the rim fires, is a tube load, and this holds 11 rounds of 22 Magnum. Now the Magnum Express here is what we said chambered in 22 Magnum. If you prefer something like a 17, they make that in a Varmint Express with very similar lines to this one with the stock. But I really like the 22 Mag. It's nice all around. You'll see it's a very low recoiling round, but one that has great potential in the field. And there's not much recoil, but we do have the nice rubber butt pad here, Henry, soft rubber. So if there is any recoil or that bothers you at all, it does sit nicely on the shoulder. Henry produces rifles in both Rice Lake, Wisconsin and Bayonne, New Jersey. This particular run comes out of Bayonne. It's a nice, fine made rifle. Like every Henry, it feels like a broken record. We're repeating, it's well made, it's American made, and it's super smooth. Well, it's not a lie. This thing is smooth. Right out of the box, you'll see it's a fairly short throw lever. Just nice and easy to work. Even with a scope mounted in low rings, I still have access to that hammer. If you feel like you need it, you can add a hammer extension to make it a little easier to get to, but it's really not bad at all. And as we look at the receiver here on the Magnum Express, what is it that you don't see? It's not what is there, but what's not there. And we'll see here the clean lines on the receiver. There's no toggle or external safety. That's because Henry uses a quarter cock safety mechanism. So it's right built in with the hammer mechanism. So you're not having that push button. For some, that's a plus. For some, it may be a minus. It's just something to be aware of when you buy the rifle. But it does have an internal safety. You'll see here, as I pull that hammer back, where that quarter cock safety is. And that's when you'll see the trigger set. Right there was our quarter cock safety. As you saw, that trigger jump forward just a tad. And that replaces the need to have what some see as a kind of gaudy safety, an external toggle push button. Here we go with our three shot accuracy test. I'm set up at 50 yards with the Varmint Express because we are having an exceptionally cold and windy spring day today. So I know we're gonna see some bullet drift with these lighter bullets. We're gonna shoot the 40 grain Silver Eagle from Aguila. We've also shot the Hornady with very good results and same with the CCI clean. There's lots of great Magnum ammunitions out there and we intend to try them all out and punch some bullseyes. So let's see what we can do. Look at that. Now you should get a nice clear shot of that on the sput target. Looks like I'm cutting the bottom of the bullseye, if I can see that correctly. It looks like I see a little of that orange puff coming out of the target. Those are a shoot and see with some powder coming out of the target so you get instant feedback. I see it again. And normally I wouldn't be able to see those little holes here at 50 yards, but I saw the orange powder on that one and that makes me happy because that is a small little bullseye and means the Magnum Express is doing its job. And there it is again, three in the bullseye at 50 yards on a pretty wicked day. I'll take that and I'll see you on the range again soon for shooting some more 22 mags. Well, the Henry advertises right on the front page of the website that this is a bullseye accurate 
rifle in this Magnum Express. And you know what? They're not kidding. This is 50 yards in the wind, in the cold, with this rifle. Three shots of 22 mag. You can see how small that bullseye is here on our spot target. And you saw the dust coming off of that baby. This thing is capable. This is certainly about the size or smaller than the head of a little varmint out at distance. And I'm certainly sure that this rifle is more than capable of stretching out well past 100 yards, probably out to 200, and knocking down varmints and punching out bullseyes. MSRP on the Magnum Express is set at $622. All things considered for an American-made lever action in a 22 Magnum, that's not that bad. And I tell you what, you're gonna get that much and more enjoyment out of it on the range and in the field. If you're in the market for a Henry rim fire like this one, head on over to guns.com and check out that guns.com vault. And while you're there at guns.com, see our full review and give us a like, share, and hit that subscribe button so you stay up to date on all the latest content like this that we have coming your way.